Hello everyone, I am Carrie from Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. Today, the first day of February, I am in my hobby room. This is a room that's separate from our house, attached to our garage, and it's just a space where I can keep all of my homeschooling books and supplies. I can keep all of my craft supplies, sewing, all my yarn, my cross-stitch stuff. Um, so place where I can keep stuff to make things like my capelet here. I like to make these capelets to sell in my Etsy shop and at craft shows and whatnot. And this is where I keep the supplies for making all that kind of stuff. Um, I also have a spare bed in here so that it can um, be a spare bedroom for guests when they come visit us. But I'm in here today instead of outside where it would be much more fitting to talk about what I want to talk about today. But it is windy outside. It has been windy for like three days. And I need to get this video done today because it's the first day of February and we have a goal for February. Our goal is to grow our YouTube channel. And we have a fun little thing to do um, in order to do that. So, <clears throat> First of all, a little bit about our farm. It is going to be a lavender farm. We want one to two acres of lavender, and that's going to be an income producing crop for us. The other portion of our farm is going to be garden, but also a food forest. And our food forest has three purposes. The first one is to provide most of the food that we eat in our family for the year. And the third, the, sorry, the second reason is also income producing. Whatever is in excess of what we ourselves would eat as a family, we can sell and thus provide more income. The third reason is to show people that having a diverse garden um, is to mimic nature more is a better way to garden than monocropping. And I just, I wanna be able to show that to um, anybody who's willing to listen. So even though I can't be outside, I brought in some ambiance. These are some plants that I either brought from my old house that we sold and moved from this summer, or it's stuff that we've bought since we moved here but just haven't had um, time to plant. So these two plants right here, this is a blueberry. I think it's um, a pink lemonade blueberry. And then this one right here is a blue, blue crop uh, blueberry. And you can see this one even still has some leaves on it. And I'm seeing some new growth on it, in fact, right here. So that's pretty neat. Can't wait to get those planted. And then this right here, I was just noticing one of my rhubarb plants is starting to come up. So I need to get that in the ground here soon too. So growing a YouTube channel, growing a food forest, they're connected for this month. <laughs> We would like to do something fun in that for each new subscriber we get in February, we will plant a fruit tree or nut tree or berry bushes or rhubarb plants or some other perennial food producing or um, otherwise beneficial plant for our food forest. So each new subscriber equals a new plant in our food forest. We're really excited about being able to get started on our food forest and we're really excited about growing our YouTube channel because that will be yet another source of income for our farm. Now, um, the best way to grow our channel is by sharing it to everybody we know. And if our current subscribers can share it to people that you know and ask them to subscribe, that would be fantastic. If you know people who are interested in food forests or permaculture gardening or any gardening like that, share our channel with them and, and ask them to subscribe and, and support us. Um, if you know somebody who's into lavender and loves lavender products, have them subscribe and follow along. We're a homeschooling family, so maybe you know somebody who's a homeschooler too and would like to watch a family of six homeschooling and farming at the same time. 
Or maybe you know somebody who just likes to support small channels as they're growing. We would appreciate their support as well. I'm also a crafter, so maybe you know somebody who likes to see the stuff that I make and um, just kind of share um, that the love of that with each other. So lots of people that you could share this with. We'd love to be able to connect our food forest farm with the viewers of our channel and just be able to say, you know, several years from now, this, this blueberry bush or that apple tree or that pecan tree, that was planted because we got however many subscribers back in February 2021. <laughs> just kind of a fun thing to do. And we'd appreciate any help that you can give us. So that's it for today. Just a fun little video about growing our YouTube channel and how you can help. Thank you so much for watching, for those of you that comment, for those of you that like, and for those of you that share. Appreciate you so much. Have a good day. Bye.